Greetings, brothers and sisters, in this Holy Week, as we prepare our hearts and minds for Easter. Often at this time throughout Lent, especially as we enter into the later days of Lent and into Holy Week, priests are busy hearing confessions. Father Rob and I enjoy this moment, this encounter that we have in the Sacrament of Reconciliation, one of our places where we can really feel that identity as father. Fathers who want to make things right for their children, restore them to good graces. It's God the Father that is eager to celebrate the sacrament with all of you. We know, though, as I'm hearing questions, that as the sacrament's not available, could we not hear your confession over the phone, through digital media, through technologies like Zoom? The simple answer is no. Why is that? Well, the church, Vatican, has already reaffirmed that the sacrament has to be done in a personal way, in the physical presence of one another. It's an encounter. It's not only against the rules, but the Vatican has reminded us that it's questionable in its validity. You might not even actually receive the forgiveness of God through the sacrament tried to, attempted to be celebrated in that way. Well, we know, though, that the Father is so merciful and forgiving. His grace knows no bounds. The story of the prodigal son, or perhaps better known, the parable of the merciful Father. It's the Father that initiates the forgiveness. The son's been rehearsing. The son's been preparing himself he comes eager, in a sense, hoping that the Father might recognize him as being alive again. Restore him not as a son and heir, but as a servant. Treat me as one of your hired servants, he thinks to himself. But the Father is extravagant, restoring him as a son and heir. Such a beautiful encounter. You see that image that embrace as humans, we need that physical encounter. We need to be in the physical presence and hear those words with our very ears. I absolve you from your sins. This beautiful encounter is not possible at this time. So what do we do? Pope Francis has addressed this question and encouraged the faithful to trust in the love and mercy of God. This advice is actually very sound it, no matter when for you, the sacrament is unavailable. It might be because you're traveling, might be because in that moment, your parish or church is not offering the sacrament. There's so many reasons. In those moments where you're eager to find God's forgiveness, the sacrament is not readily available. Follow these steps. First, offer an act of contrition. To offer that act of contrition, we prepare by examining our conscience. We might do that with the Ten Commandments, the Eight Beatitudes, or perhaps simply with the Greatest Commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Almost every sin falls under either a lack of love or an imperfect love. Then, express that sorrow. It could be in the form that you've learned as a child, Depending on the generation, it could be, oh my God, I'm heartily sorry. Or it could be, oh my God, I'm sorry for my sins. Continue that prayer. It could be words that are your own or words that are taken from the scriptures. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Then, second, we're encouraged to make the intention to go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation when it's next available. No that it may be a little bit of time. But in the midst of this, Pope Francis, and I assure you, trust that the Father in heaven hears you. He knows what's in your heart. He knows your intention. And his love, his mercy, his forgiveness is not limited by the sacrament. He is able to offer you that now. In your homes, in your place where you are now, experience God's love and forgiveness. Prepare your hearts and minds for the celebration of Easter. God bless.